Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to be having a look at how I organize my libraries in Final Cut Pro 10. I've got a real simple example of a property video uh, that we'll be having a look at, and we'll have a look at how we can use events uh, within our libraries to help manage different project timelines, different edits uh, that we're working on in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is kind of to help to clarify the difference between libraries, events, and projects um, as you're working on uh, different things in Final Cut Pro. This video is sponsored by FX Factory, so definitely do go and check them out. It's an online store for different plugins and transitions for Final Cut Pro 10. There's a lot of awesome stuff that you can uh, kind of get there. And they also have uh, free demos that you can try out of all the different plugins that are available uh, on the app store there. So definitely check that out. But without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at how we work with libraries, events, and project timelines in Final Cut Pro 10. So I often get asked what the difference is between libraries, events, and project when you're setting things up and working on something in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is a good example of how I use libraries and events um, in this example um, for some property videos uh, that I do. So basically, you can see I have my library up on the, the top left here. Uh, so the library basically contains all the footage that I've imported all of my edits and absolutely everything within it. And then there are events within that. So basically you can see these events uh, with a little star on them that I've created are an organizational tool for storing different projects um, within there. So basically you can see I have my main edit uh, for this particular property video, which are gonna go to YouTube and Facebook. Um, so I'm kind of keeping all my footage for that main edit um, in that particular folder, along with the timelines or projects um, for that particular edit as well. So basically everything I need uh, to access there is in that kind of main edit in terms of the video footage that I'm using. And then I also have a music folder. So the music might appear in either the Instagram or the YouTube and Facebook edits um, that I'm doing. So I kind of keep that in a separate folder and it means I can kind of just jump in to the event and kind of grab any music tracks, try out different things without having to go through this long list of footage and if music was in there as well, uh, the long list of kind of music as well. So basically I use the events to manage the separation of these different edits um, and basically that allows me to kind of manage my projects a bit better. So within each of the events that we can see here with the star, you can see I can have one or more edits. So I've broken out here my intros. Um, so I've got a few different takes of different intros for this particular property video and I've separated those into a single edit so I can try them out at the beginning of my main edit um, where I've kind of thrown in all the, the footage um, for the moment, just the audio footage and the intro footage that I'm going to try out for this particular property video. And then in the Instagram shorts, my edit is a portrait edit. So basically I have my edit set up at 1080 by 1920. Um, so a portrait edit. And this is where I'll edit my kind of 10 to 15 second Instagram stories, export them out in sections, and then share them on social media, either Instagram stories or Facebook stories, um, so that they're in that kind of nice portrait format to use. So basically, the events allow me to store those different elements, um, and then my edits, my projects, basically allow me to edit in those different formats. So landscape for YouTube and Facebook, perhaps Vimeo if you're uploading to that, and then the portrait and square formats for my Instagram and maybe my Facebook uh, edits as well. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of how I use events. It's often something that confuses people in terms of organizing things. Um, I try to keep everything stored for one piece of work within one library. Um, I try not to have kind of multiple property videos in one library because that tends to kind of increase the file size of your libraries and makes things hard to manage kind of later down the road. So I would definitely encourage when you start uh, a new piece of work, um, create a new library, and then within that library, I'll create different events that allow you to manage the different kind of aspects of that piece of work within your library. Um, and in those events, you can have multiple edits if you need them, um, depending on kind of what type of project um, you're working on overall. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please do drop me a message below. Um, otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.